Hey, this is Alec from the UBR, and today we'll be talking about the newest FPS of the new year. That's right, Titanfall. The game that brings giant mechs and parkour into one game. Yeah, well, that's the one. First off, this really split me into multiple opinions. There were a lot of things that were really amazing about it, and other things that made me hate. So this might be a little weird of a review. As always, I will say the good, then the bad. So now for the good. First, the parkour was amazing in this game. I never really found any problems with it, and I thought it added a ton to the gameplay, unseen to many other FPSs. This parkour could be used to escape from enemies, jump on enemy titans, or do some crazy kills. Graphics in this game were, I have to say, average. Better than COD Ghost, but worse than Battlefields. This didn't really have an effect on how much I liked the game, I just wanted to add it to the good section to make it almost as large as the bad section. Titans were a really cool addition to the game. Having giant mechs to crush your enemies was always cool. Now I hate to say it, but, well, that's all, all the good parts of the game. Now when I played this game for the first time, I loved it. It was amazing, but there was one word in the back of my mind. Longevity. I heard it in relation to Titanfall from a YouTuber who played the beta. He was worried that the game wouldn't have a great longevity. Well, he was right. This game has the worst longevity of almost any game I've played. First off, you level up so freaking fast it's unbelievable. I got to max level after three days of playing and only putting in about eight hours. And when you prestige, you get a double XP boost. Gee thanks, now I can get the max level in one and a half days. That sure makes me want to play more. Ah! Yes! Promoted! Promoted! In my opinion, they should have made it half XP so more of a challenge. I still haven't reached max level in BF4, and I put 20 times more time into that than Titanfall. No! Secondly, the Titanfall campaign was short and boring on both teams. When I was playing with my friends, we couldn't pay attention to a single word the characters were saying. All I, was, all I remember was a huge explosion at the end of it that made no sense whatsoever. Another thing, no matter if you won or lost, you continued through the campaign. Meaning you would usually lose every single game because the teams would stay the same. Then, Titanfall has the smallest customization menu I've ever seen. Less than 10 main weapons and only 3 pistols, and 4 anti-tank weapons. Are you serious? I could've lived with a small customization menu if the guns didn't all feel the same. Yes, gun physics are horrible in this game. They more resemble COD's gun physics than Battlefield, which is not a good thing. There's no recoil, no bullet drop, just aim and the bullet's already there. Although I like the idea of Titans in this game, they weren't implemented the best. They had different weapons, but the 40mm cannon was obviously the best, making Titan on Titan combat boring and more like whoever shot first wins. So by the middle of the second day, when everyone's already level 30, and everyone, so everyone's running around with the same Titan, just different chassis. One last thing. The maps were as small as COD maps, which doesn't really work with giant robots, so after I reached the max level and earned the achievement for doing it in the first month of the game's release, I had no qualms about going back and having a great time in Battlefield. This game felt more like a beta to me for Titanfall 2. There was a lot of great potential in this game, but it wasn't implemented in the final product. I hope they work on this potential in Titanfall 2, because I really enjoyed playing this game for the short time I did. I'm going to give it a decent 7.5. This has been Alex from UBR, and I, ha I hope you have a nice day.